All right, folks, welcome back. Ron Sheets again. This is video number three in our education series. I'm joined again by my friend Ted Thomas, who has been doing tax liens, certificates, and, and tax deed, uh, property uh, defaulted properties for over 30 years. In the first two videos, he's given us an awful lot of information. Um, anytime I ever think about uh, tax certificates or property defaulted deeds, I think about Ted, because Ted is the guy who has taught this to people for over 30 years. I've learned it from him. Uh, if you're an investor and are looking for an extra source of income, an extra stream of income, and um, you haven't joined us in the first two videos, I encourage you to go and watch those, but you can pick it up right from here. So in order to do that, Ted, uh, why don't you give everybody a quick review? Okay, good. All right, folks, if you've never heard about this business, it's called Tax Lien Certificates and Tax Deeds. It's available in every state in the United States. And the reason it is, is the legislature of each state has mandated that people that own property will pay property tax. It's really like a wealth tax. So what is it? It's about one or 2% of value. Okay, now if people don't pay the tax, then the county has a problem. So they have to do something about it. Now, there's 100 million properties in the United States, round numbers, and about two or 3% of them default some way. Now, when I say default, maybe people die. Maybe they move away. Maybe they forget they own the property. Believe it or not, people forget they own property because they own too many. All right, so the point is that tax is going to be due. So if they can't collect it, the local treasurer levies the tax, tries to collect the tax. If they can't collect it, the local treasurer will confiscate. That's what I'm saying is they take the property and they resell it at a public auction. Now, the treasurer doesn't want to try to make money because they just want to get rid of the property and get it back on the tax roll. They don't need any more property. So they'll sell the property with a starting bid of very close to the back taxes. Now, I already told you, taxes are one or 2%. You could buy for one or 2%, that would be a good deal. All right, so they're going to sell these properties for 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents on the dollar. Okay, that doesn't mean it's not worth 100,000 or 200,000. They just want to get it sold. So that happens in half the states. Uh, other half of the states sell tax liens. Now, if you buy a tax lien, you're paying someone else's tax. All right. Those tax liens in Florida pay 18%. Arizona pays 16%. Uh, Illinois pays 36%. Iowa pays 24%. You're getting the idea. So those are a revenue producer right away. So you can buy either one. You can choose whichever you want. When I started back in the days when I had black hair and I was skinny, well, I had to travel, but now you can do all of this online. So, so the people that are on with us are busy people. Um, most of them, I would say probably 90, 95% of the people that are joining us on, on this video are entrepreneurs. They run one business, if not multiple businesses. So it sounds great with the opportunities for the income on this, but when it comes due, do the counties in that, do they automatically just send you your money with the interest? when they come due, or is it something that you've got to follow up with them? Okay, well, for the entrepreneurs, this is just another side hustle in all of this. Now, the beauty of this business is, and I'll, I'll get to the answer. Uh, the beauty of the business is, you always know when the auction is gonna be uh, uh, gonna take place, because they'll say, we're gonna have an auction on the first day of April. And so you always know, so you got plenty of time to get ready for the auction, just do it uh, in a part-time basis. All right, now, if you buy a tax lien certificate, Okay, you'll buy it at the auction. You can buy it online or offline. You will actually pay your money to the government. All right, then there's no other work to do. You take your certificate, put it down in your, your desk, and then sit on your rusty dusty. There's nothing else to do. You just wait. All you do is wait. All right, when, uh, if they don't pay, well, then the county's going to say, all right, do you want the property? If you don't want the property, you don't have to take it. But if you want the property, which you will, if you only paid one or 2%, then they'll deed the property to you. So I don't think that's a complicated process. It might take a couple hours. So that's not uh, some difficult thing. Now, all right, so that's tax lien. Now tax defaulted property, that's a different story. What you're gonna do then is you're gonna buy it at an auction, you raise your hand, let's say you get it for 25 cents on the dollar. Then they're gonna give you a deed. So if the property is worth 100 or 200,000, you bought it for 25 cents on the dollar. All right, they're gonna give you a deed. That property is now yours. So you do anything you want with it. So the day I bought it, what I would do is I would go there and secure it, make sure the windows were, were secured, the door was secured and whatever. And then I'd decide what I'm going to do with it. Do I want to clean it up and sell it? Do I want to hire somebody to come in and paint and clean? Do I, what I want to do? 
Uh, then it's just traditional real estate where you buy it and then you resell it. You will have to do some work. It's not going to sell by itself. So you'll have to use media. And now with so much media, uh, the average person, especially if they're following our course materials, if you're following what I tell you to do, you could have this property for sale in 10 different media within 30 minutes. Now, okay. what do I mean by that? You could have it on Craigslist. You could have it on Zillow. You could have it on Trulia. You could have it on a multiple listing service. You're getting the idea. You could have signs in front of it. You could do all that in a couple hours. So media that we have today, if you have a property that's worth 100000 and you bought it for twenty five, dollars hey, put it on the market for sixty five. dollars You're way under the market. You know the bargain hunter is going to find you with all that media. So once you know and understand media, so what you're doing is you're dealing with margin. You bought it at a low margin. That's what attracted me. And then I can see I can sell it. I can sell all the way up to to the regular market. I don't do that. I buy it low, twenty five cents on the dollar. Then I sell it for sixty five cents on the dollar. Oh, that's going to attract a lot of people. So are you going to have to work tax lien certificates? You're not going to do anything. I mean, it's really uh, almost nothing. Uh, and that's why older people like it. They don't want to do it. Some of this entrepreneur, oh. You're just going to call a broker and say, who's a handyman that can go over there and do this for me? Yeah. That's what you're going to do. You don't have to go there and do it. I would never want any of my people to go fix up property. That I don't, I don't visualize you with paint in your hair, broken fingernails. I don't see your wife with plaster all over her or any of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it, unless I'm not seeing something right, now is really a great time to do this because with the value and the increase in property values uh, is is there's people still defaulting on the tax. And now, I mean, I know even in my own neighborhood in Florida there where my wife and I own a home, um, the values in the houses have doubled and tripled just in the last two years. And yeah. now that I think about it, you know, if there's other homes, even just the development that I'm in, that I go and I find out if they're defaulted on that, to be able to buy those and then turn around and sell, they're, they're guaranteed to sell because I know that there's a pricing war going on for real estate right now. So it, it, unless I'm seeing something wrong, this is an amazing well, opportunity. This business does not go, if you looked at a graph on the stock market over the years, you see a graph going like this, you know, mm -hmm. those peaks and valleys, and that's what scares people because they're afraid they bought it here and it's going to go there. That's their freedom. This business doesn't do that. There's going to be between two and three million tax defaulted properties every year. Nothing to do with the market. Nothing to do with the market because some people that live in Florida in the hot summer, they go to Michigan, they buy that property on the lake, and then they either forget they own it, believe it or not, they forget they own it, or they don't get the tax bill sent to Florida. Guess what? If you don't get your tax bill and pay it, all right, there's people in in Michigan, they come to Florida, they buy a house, and then they forget to pay the taxes. So you get people dying, people forget to pay taxes, people that get divorced, there's all kinds of stuff when people don't pay for them. So two or 3% of the properties are coming up every year. We're working with a very small margin, but if you think about the whole United States and three, three, 3,000 plus counties, it's abundance. Wow. So what's the, what's the fastest state i don't know if fastest is the right word what's the fastest state to get access to for the properties i mean if you're giving me advice you're a teacher and you're saying ron this is what you should do this is where she, you should go what do you recommend well if uh, starting from scratch it'd be really easy to work in texas because when you buy in texas you raise your hand and you buy they actually give you the deed to the property right there hmm. it's called a redeemable deed because the person that's losing the property they give that person 180 days to come in and pay you what you paid plus 25 cents, 25 percent. So in Texas, you can own a property in 180 days. Wow, that's pretty fast. That's fast. What are some of the other uh, states, some of the other best states, if you will, in order to buy tax deeds? Well, none of, none of them take a long time. If you if if you go to uh, if you got, let's say, let me get my, I'll get a brochure so I can show you about a brochure. All right, so I'm just going to get a brochure from, uh, okay, this is Sullivan County. It says Sullivan County on the front of it. Okay, Sullivan County is one hour and 15 minutes from New York City. All right, all right, now in Sullivan County, at the last auction, 245 properties are available. Okay, and they show you the actual picture of the property. All of them are in here. You get any one of those you want to buy. All right. All right, when they sell you that property, you own it. 
you could that day. So that property is already owned by the state. So they have already confiscated it. So you can own a property in 24 hours. Wow. Wow. I mean, to do this, am I going to re- need a, a broker or, a, or an attorney in order to do these things? You just need your warm body to show up. And if you've gone to our class, you'll have, you'll have enough knowledge to be able to, you, you'll, put, you'll, have enough, you'll have it on the market within the first week. Okay. We buy them, then we quickly sell them. We don't, we don't want to hold on. We buy them and we don't fix them. We clean them up and get them back, back into the marketplace. Wow. Absolutely. Okay. So, Absolutely. So, so I'm going to tax your experience and your vast knowledge in this. Um, just a hypothetical question. If you had $50,000 to invest, would you be buying a bunch of small tax lien certificates or would you buy a couple of big ones? Okay. Well, um, first of all, if you ask me what I'm going to do, I'm going to about this year, I'll, I'll do it. I'll invest at least a couple hundred thousand, at least, because I like to buy, um, I don't want to buy a lot, but I'll do both for you now to answer the question. I'm always looking for a property like one of these. So in upstate New York and in Pennsylvania, a place like that, they have these big colonial houses. Now, colonial house, well, you'd have them there in, in, in Cleveland too. Colonial house be two stories and 3,000 square feet. And sometimes they even have the circular driveway. All right. So I'm buying those houses in New York, sometime with 50 foot oak trees around them, four or five acres of land, and they'll have a 400 to a $800,000 value. And I try to get those for 30 to 40 cents on the dollar. All right, now my clients, I tell my clients, I'll give you an example. So I got a couple in Michigan and I'll show you a picture of them. They live, excuse me, not Michigan, they live in Wisconsin. So you can't do this in Wisconsin, forget about that. So they go to Michigan, and they bought a property for eight thousand dollars. Now, you know it's not a colonial, but it's eight thousand dollars. They put another four, maybe six thousand dollars cleaning it up, and they sold it during the Christmas holidays, and they made thirty-seven thousand hmm. dollars. So they got their money back, the twelve thousand they invested, and another thirty-seven thousand. Wow. All right. So I would recommend doing a lot of those properties. So a place like Michigan. They'll have 67 auctions next year. Some some auctions, they'll sell property for a hundred dollars. Wow. They will announce right in the middle of the auction. If these properties aren't sold today, come back in 42 days and we're gonna start a bid a hundred dollars. <sighs> True. I mean, wow. I'm not making it up. Yeah. This is real stuff. Yeah. And 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 in your class, you teach us what to look for, what we should be looking for. I not only teach you, I have the people who do it teach you and do it on video. Wow. And that's why we have the class. So that you can see it just isn't Ted Thomas. You're going to see multiple coaches that work for me and you'll see multiple people that do this for me. Let me give you a, a, another example. So Deborah Murphy does not live in the United States. She lives in British Columbia. Now for you guys that don't know Canada, British Columbia is the big province on the Pacific coast. Yeah. And she had plenty of money. She didn't need money. She had money. She's a 40 year old woman. She got plenty of money. She hired investment advisors. She hired brokers. She hired attorneys. She hired financial planners. She said, all I want to do, I've got enough money. I just want to make 5% a year. She did that for 20 years in a row. She never in the 20 years had anybody make her 5%. As a matter of fact, a few people lost 5%. So when she heard about this, she said, can you teach me how to do this online? I said, well, of course I can. So I taught her how to do it online. She never left home. Now you're going to see a video of her in a minute. She never left home. And she bought within 60 miles of my home here in Florida. She bought on the ocean. She bought in a residential mobile home park. Now people said, oh, I'm not going to buy a mobile home park. It was exclusive, professionally run. People waiting in line to get in there, right on the ocean. She bought the property for $25,000. She, I said, sell it because she could quickly sell it for 50,000. She said, no, I'm not selling it. She rented it. She got a 40% annualized return, 40% annualized return on that property. Finally, she sold it in the third year and she sold, she bought it for 25. She sold it for $70,000. My name's Deb Murphy and I'm here in Kelowna, British Columbia. I had purchased my first property by Bought it for twenty four thousand. It'll literally sell for it'll sell for seventy thousand. 
I'll probably list it around 75, 76, and it'll, it'll sell. I did it all online, by phone and by um, computer. Ted's material showed me that I can depend on uh, the county records, what's online as far as property appraisers records, what's online as far as all the documentation uh, around a property that I could depend on knowing 75% of what's going on with that property without even stepping foot on it. So there's just so much more available online and that's why we can do it successfully now from Canada. Ted really fills out the full picture. He wants you to be successful. She did the whole thing online. So she not only made 25, 25 back that she put in, she made another 50,000. And while she was waiting, she was getting a 40% return. Wow. That can all be done online. Now, most people are going to want to do those deals. Now, I go to the auction because I want to look for one great or two great of those big ones because I'm going to have to spend some money fixing it up. But I figure if I could buy a $400,000 house for one hundred and fifty, dollars I know you don't, a lot of people don't want to hear that, but if I can, what if I spent fifty dollars and fixed it up? It's still worth four hundred. dollars That leaves me a lot of margin. Yeah. That's a lot. Now, I'm not suggesting everybody do what I do, but there are certain people looking right now and say, oh, you tell me I can make that kind of money. I am telling you that, that yeah. because those kind of properties are going to auction. Okay. I can't tell you what's going to be an auction, but that brochure every year. So take a place like New York. They're going to have 67 different county auctions every year. Take a place like Texas, 250. I have people buying in California for eight cents on the dollar. In Los Angeles County, eight cents on the dollar. So this is amazing. So this, I got a bunch of other questions uh, that, okay, that I want to uh, bring out. Uh, so, but the first one I have, the numbers that you've thrown around and that you've talked about, in your experience, what have you found has been the least amount of money that somebody's been able to get into a tax defaulted property for? Oh, well, that's not fair. But I'll I'll, oh. I'll tell you about it. And I'll show you a picture. <laughs> okay, so I've got a guy that's. Uh, He's a writer and he's an editor for a newspaper in um, in, in Georgia. And and I, want, I well, his name is Br Br Baker. Okay, I'll give his name, but I, I can't tell you where he did it. Anyway, but I'll show you a picture of it. So uh, Br said, can, "Ted, is this real?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "Well, I've been watching these announcements in the newspaper because the county will say they're going to have an auction." So he sees it in the newspaper, like like the newspaper I showed you. And so um, he uh, he headed down there to the auction, right? And um, and then the next day he called me and he said, well, I went to the auction. I said, well, did you get anything? He said, no. And I said, well, why not? And he said, well, I, uh, I didn't believe it. I said, what do you mean you didn't believe it? He said, well, I was looking at this two bedroom, one bath house. It was on about three acres and a lot of fruit trees and stuff like that. And, and I'll put a picture of this so you see it. And all they wanted was $316. I said, is that true? And I said, I said, is that true? And he said, yeah, they went through. He said, so I didn't believe him, so I left. I said, you got to be kidding. He said, no. He said, they were trying to auction. Nobody would bid on it. It was too cheap. <laughs> I said, go back and see if they, when he went back and they hadn't sold it. So they sold my property for under $400, okay? Now, we used to do this stuff 30 years ago, but I've done this. I've never got one this cheap, okay? So he bought the property under $400. Now, listen to what happens next. He calls me. He said, I got the property. I said, well, terrific. He said, well, what should I do with it? Now, he said, a newspaper. He didn't know what to eat. Uh, I said, well, why don't you sell it? He said, I don't want to sell it. I want to buy stuff. And I said, well, what are you going to do? And he said, well, should I rent it? I said, well, yeah, go ahead and rent it. He said, what should I rent it for? I said, wait a minute. I'm in Florida. I don't know what to do. He said, I said, just go around the neighborhood and ask what rental. So it turns out rental should be 700 bucks for a 200, for a two bedroom one. So this young kid comes in, his dad sent him. And the kid said, look, I just got married. My wife and I both going to school. My dad gave me $6,000 I can pay in rent. That's all I got is $6,000. Will you, he didn't, he didn't buy it. He didn't buy it. He said, will you rent me the house for $6,000 for the year? This guy's got 400 bucks. I'm showing you a picture of this guy. All right. So now that's bizarre. So I don't know. Look, I don't know what you're going to get a property for. Now, if I say anything other than that, but, you know, if you don't get in the game, you don't get anything. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get in the game. I don't know what they're going to do, but I don't look at 
traditional properties like that. But now he has he's done this more than once, by the way. He's done this more. Now now he goes and looks for them. Yeah. But I mean, I don't want those properties, and I don't want to rent them out. And I don't. I want to buy it, and then I want to quit, clean it up, and I want to sell it. That's what I want to. And that's what I teach. And that's what people when they come to the class, we'll teach them that. And they'll get to see people that do that with tax liens. They'll get to see them do it with tax deeds. They'll see people make twenty thousand on a deal, and they'll see plenty of grandmothers and grandfathers making a hundred thousand dollars on one deal. Yeah, friends, this is this is powerful stuff. This is powerful it stuff. Is. If you're looking, if you're looking for a, another stream of income, this is something you seriously want to consider. Um, and how you do that, how you get involved, uh, and to learn more, is uh, Ted is offering an all day course, an all day class. I highly encourage you to register for that. Uh, it's normally $97. Ted has offered to do it for you, for the people that follow me, for $47. Um, but Ted, if I understand, it starts at 11 o'clock and goes until 6 o'clock. Is that correct? Yeah, and, and there, there's a few breaks in between, but we don't leave. We, we continue to talk and continue yeah. to give information. So they can eat and they can drink and they do everything they you want. Do this, yeah, it's, you do this. It's virtual. The it's all virtual privacy of your own home. So you right. can make the time. Uh, I mean, Ted has talked about, uh, you know, the, the possibilities and the opportunities. And as you learned in this video, is that regardless of what your interest or your comfort level is, there's something there for everybody. So uh, Ted, thank you. Uh, we have one more session. We have one more video. Uh, if you haven't quite yet decided, uh, we've got one more chance at this and, and we've got more coming. Uh, in the next video. So watch for that email for the link in the next video. Ted, thank you very much for your time, my friend.